Zia Alton Yelders, welcome to the virtual media box. Thank you for agreeing to take part. You're concerned about uh, driverless vehicles, the use of artificial intelligence in this way. Will people ever feel completely safe in uh, a, a driverless vehicle or indeed on roads occupied by driverless vehicles? I think, uh, as you know, for, for many years, uh, we have had cars with uh, driver assistance, uh, like antelope brakes, hill order, and, and cruise control. And, and also, I think with artificial intelligence taking place, and the car has been taking lane, and also uh, and having a break in emergencies. And uh, uh, to be honest, I think, uh, I undoubtedly, in my view, I expect that autonomous vehicle will cause a far fewer accidents because within artificial intelligence and artificial intelligence do not get distracted or fall asleep or tired or unwell. And I think because of these uh, reasonable uh, pauses, I think pe people do feel safer and with uh, with uh, drivers drivers a car and with the credible uh, reports uh, during my uh, pre during my preparation with my report i i see that maybe uh, the speed is not um, uh, is not um, much more speedy of maybe it's a little bit less speedy but within this standard and with also uh, envisioning and, and uh, seeing uh, the, re the reaction of, of uh, standard uh, cars with driverless car, I think uh, it's going to be more safer and it's going to be more reliable. And within this term, uh, when things uh, would be more and more uh, taking in use, uh, those are the questions to be answered. Who is going to be responsible if any accident happens? And how we can punish uh, the machine itself uh, with, with the uh, AI? I mean, uh, if uh, violates not only the traffic code, but also the criminal code as well. And also, uh, who is going to be liable uh, if uh, accidents happen and there's going to be much uh, damages to the car or uh, uh, any passenger uh, wounded? And those are the questions we should be uh, answering and, and, and taking into account. But uh, let me undertake, uh, let me underline uh, this fact that uh, as a pandemic shows, there is going to be no one-sided solution, resolution. I think international community and international bodies, including, of course, uh, 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 I mean, European Community and Council of Europe and other uh, UN bodies, have come together uh, to find some sort of regulatory framework within uh, and how to regulate and how to frame uh, the driverless car when things already uh, resolved. And now, uh, since we have semi-autonomous vehicle in our roles, but I expect that within, within this decade, I think full autonomous vehicle will come into, uh, into driving and will come into road as well. I mean, it's one thing to have a, a car that is self-driving and run by a computer, artificial intelligence. Can it work on a road where there are also cars being driven by us very faulty humans? Uh, there is not going to be a, a sudden move from, uh, from uh, human driving to autonomous driving. Of course, there's going to be mixed driving uh, term, you know, era. And I think uh, there has been machines, as you know, uh, to sense and to react in accordance with. And that's why I think uh, people uh, and with, with the uh, uh, driving car with passenger and also driver's car to some extent and to some time, drive all together. 
and and I think uh, the fault of the uh, the fault uh, driving with uh, autonomous vehicle will get lesser and lesser, just in case uh, the uh, the design itself uh, can be faulty. And other than that, I think. Uh, uh, rarely uh, the uh, the accidents uh, uh, to my uh, to in, in my view will happen. But in the meantime, uh, uh, when the when the passenger and and driving uh, with uh, I mean uh, real drive uh, drivers uh, should also take into account how uh, the driverless car uh, reacts when when things happen. Uh, but uh, the the sense and everything. The AI and everything, I think, uh, will manage uh, a soft uh, uh, tran transition period uh, to the driverless car period. Zia Altanyeldis, thank you very much, and congratulations on getting your report adopted. Thank you for joining us.